Hey, good evening, everyone. Well, during the 1995-96 NBA season, the Chicago Bulls won a then NBA record 72 games, finishing the year 72 and 10. On their way to an NBA title, they coined the phrase, it don't mean a thing without the ring. Similarly dominant, the Homestead Girls soccer team came into this weekend's Class 3A state title game with a 21-0 record and over 100 goals scored on the season. But earlier in the week, they echoed that same sentiment. It don't mean a thing without the ring. Well, earlier tonight, they got their chance to win that ring. Let's get you down here to Indianapolis and IUPUI's Michael Carroll Stadium. 3A number one Homestead taking on number four Carmel. It's a rematch of 2018's state title bout. Greyhounds came out on top in that one, 2-1 in overtime. Pick things up in the 11th minute, no score. That is until Homestead Sophia Citrone plays the beautiful through ball to Amelia White, and she beats the Carmel keeper. Far post, Spartans take a one nothing lead. Greyhounds would counter quickly though. Six minutes later, Lauren Bailey gets behind the defense, but Madison Roush makes the stop, keeps the game scoreless. Stay that way till late in the second half. 70th minute, off the free kick, Sydney Couch gets a one-touch look and puts it home off the post. Spartans take a 2-0 lead with 10 and a half minutes to play, but the Greyhounds not going away quietly. Just two minutes later, free kick for Carmel's Emily Roper. She puts a little bit of English on it, and it somehow skips by Roush into the back of the net for the goal. Carmel cuts the lead down to one, but Homestead would stand tall. Under 30 seconds to go, still a 2-1 game. Corner for the Hounds. Roper gets a header on net, but for the second straight week, Roush comes up with a huge save, and that would be the end of it. She punts it away and let the celebration begin. Spartans hang on to win their first ever state title 2-1 the final over Carmel. Homestead, they cap the season with their blue ring. It's the most amazing feeling in the entire world. We've been working towards it all season. We knew that we were capable of winning state and just pulling it off and you know putting this blue medal around your neck is absolutely amazing. I think it's just incredible and it goes to show that Homestead is just a great team. I mean to win every single game and then state is just an incredible accomplishment and we definitely made history. They were unbelievable all year defensively, giving up 10 goals the 11th tonight, but scoring over 100. I mean, it was, we just had everything that we needed to complete this type of season and a lot of obstacles winning twice in PKs in sectional finals and then again in semi-state, um, a little bit of luck, but uh, we got here and we finished the job tonight. That was our goal to finish it and they did. Congrats to the Spartans. They finished the season a perfect 22-0, their first ever state championship, number one in the state and number one in the country. From one state championship to another, boys cross country state down in Terre Haute. Angola's Isaiah Story looking to defend his state title from a season ago. Pick it up down the stretch. Story in a tight race with Columbus North's Reese Kilbarger Stump. And while well, this is where Kilbarger Stump starts to pull away. He would end up winning with a time of 1522.6. Story follows in second. He caps his high school cross country career with a second place finish, finishing with a time of 1523.8. Meanwhile, on the girls' side of things, we stay at Laverne, Chittard's Lily Cridge, bringing home the state title with a final time of 17 minutes, 32 seconds. On the local side of things, two local girls round out the top 10. Homestead's Addison Canablo comes in fifth in 18 minutes, 30 seconds. Huntington North's Addie Wiley finishes seventh, just 10 seconds behind Canablo. And finally, a check-in with some semi-state volleyball in the Class 2A North semi-state at Huntington North. South Adams falls to Andrean 3-0. The Stars finish 28-9, regional champs for the second time ever. And in 3A at Huntington North, Belmont headed back to state for the second time in three years. The Braves sweeping West Lafayette 3-0. They're going to see Brebuff in the 3A title game next Saturday at Worthen Arena in Muncie at 4 p.m. That's it for sports. Nico, back to you.